Another record day in Idaho yesterday. More than 4,500 new COVID cases reported, which smashes the old record set earlier this week of 3,800. And with the state's COVID testing backlog of more than 31,000 cases, it's likely going to be a long road. Those who know about long roads, COVID long haulers, they're still dealing with lingering symptoms from previous variants. And now their road to recovery could be even longer because of the Omicron variant. Katya Stepovic spoke with two women, both of whom consider themselves long haulers, about how their symptoms are, or how they have handled an Omicron infection and what most concerns them about having another layer. I feel like a lot of people, you know, they say, oh, my, my case was mild. When it comes to Omicron, that seems to be the common theme for people. Milder symptoms for those who are fully vaccinated. But for long haulers, the fear of getting infected with COVID again, even if it is Omicron, is worrisome. Are these symptoms ever going to go away? Are we ever going to get our life back? You know, our, our, our old life back where uh, not have to worry about catching something and, and the symptoms coming back or, or being worse. That's the concern that creeps into Sharon's mind, who still suffers from fatigue and a cough over a year after getting infected with COVID. I mean, if it was going to make it better, then I'd be going, OK, come bring it on, you know. But according to Amber O'Toole, who's been a long hauler since March of 2020, getting infected by COVID, and she thinks it was Omicron weeks ago, made her lingering symptoms worse. This made it so I'm sleeping a lot more. Um, I'm in more pain. My my headaches are more severe than what they were. Atul says before getting COVID, she was perfectly healthy. Since then, she's dealt with over 60 different symptoms. She says are lingering effects of COVID. I'm struggling it mainly in my hands. Um, I look like I had Parkinson's for three months. That's actually why I stopped working because I had such severe hand tremors, but it also worked into like my neck as well. I actually have had a headache since September of 2020. Um, there's some days where it's a lot more extreme, where it's full on migraine with light sensitivity, sound sensitivity. Right when many of her symptoms were starting to get better, after what she says was Omicron came and went, it left her with a worse fatigue and more severe headaches and weakness. I actually feel like it was a little bit of a step back. She says right after getting infected with COVID the first time, her symptoms didn't get worse until about six months after. While she remains optimistic, the result of being infected with COVID twice as a long hauler still remains unknown. You don't know how it's going to affect you months from now either. Um, COVID is kind of a little bit of a genius that it can slowly interrupt your life. It's not just getting a mild case of, of uh, Omicron. It, it could be something worse that you don't realize that this could happen. As Sharon tells us she has yet to get COVID during her long haul journey. Her symptoms have gotten slightly better over time, but she fears that she could see a setback if she were to get infected by Omicron.